How to create mushroom. Use ellipse tool. Hold shift key to make a perfect circle. Use rectangle tool. Make a rectangle or square. Make sure the rectangle in the middle of the circle. Use shape builder tool. Hold the option key delete these two areas. Use ellipse tool again. Make a small perfect circle. Select this anchor point of the small circle. Move to here. Select this anchor point hold the option key then the shift key move to here. Use rectangle tool. Go to this anchor point start to make a rectangle. Select all objects. Go to pathfinder panel then click unite. OK. Hold the option key duplicate the shape and move to here first. Go to Effect Select Distort and Transform then click Free Distort. Follow me and change the size like this. OK. Go to Object click Expand Appearance. Adjust the size bigger. Change to stroke color to none. Fill red color. Create an oval shape. Change to brown color. Add more orange color to be bright. OK. Make the red shape a little bit bigger again. And adjust the brown shape size more bigger. Then move the brown shape to here. Use ellipse tool. Create a different size of the circle or oval. I forgot to change the color to white. Alright. Random to create a few circles. You can make it beyond of the red shape. Create it here and there. Adjust their size. Step by step. Alright. Select the red shape. Hold the option key duplicate it. Select the first red shape and bring to front. Select all then hold the shift key select the brown color. Then press Command 7 to make clipping mask. Send to back. Move this red shape to here. Send to back. Press Command Y key change to view the outline and make sure the red shape outline in the same position. Press Command Y key again then back to the artwork. Select the oval shape then hold the option key duplicate it. Adjust the size smaller than the first one. Alright. Select the big oval shape and change the color to light brown. Alright. Adjust the small oval size again. 
Use pen tool. Swap fill and stroke. Draw the mushroom stem. Click the artboard anywhere to place the first anchor point. OK. Swap fill and stroke. Change to light brown. Move to here. Use ellipse tool. Create an oval size such as a mushroom stem size. Move to a blank area. Use pen tool. Draw a straight line at the top of the oval. Make sure the line is very center. Swap fill and stroke. Go to stroke panel and change the weight to 3 points. Adjust the line a little bit longer. Select the line. Use rotate tool. And hold the option key click the center of the oval. Then the panel will open. Set the angle to 15. Click copy. Then press command D to copies. Alright. Then select and delete the oval. Select all the lines then press command G key group it all. Adjust the size and move to here. Select this oval and go to swatches panel. Click the four lines icon then click new swatch. Click OK. Then select the lines. Select the stroke collar and change to the new brown collar. Adjust the size like this. Duplicate the deep brown collar oval. Bring to front. Overlap to deep brown oval. Select the front deep brown oval and the lines. Press Command 7 to make clipping mask. Select the mushroom stem and bring to front. Now already got a mushroom. Select all objects press Command G group together. Use direct selection tool. Select the red shade copy and paste it. Adjust the size smaller. Rotate angle. Hold option key duplicate one more. Adjust the size smaller. Rotate angle. Hold option key duplicate one more. Adjust the size smaller. Good now we got 3 mushrooms head. Then change the color to yellow. Use pen tool. Swap fill and stroke. Draw different length of the curve. If you have no idea how to create it. You can copy and follow my design first. Like this to create the curve. Alright. Change the stroke size. Click round cap and round join. Change the stroke color to deep yellow.
Okay. I want to change different size have different stroke weight. So adjust the stroke size again. Alright. Select all lines and move more upward. Send to back. Select these two objects press command G. Select these two objects press command G. Select these two objects press command G. Then select the anchor point and move together. Like this. Select all and move to near the big mushroom. Adjust the size and rotate angle. Duplicate these small mushrooms and reflect it. Then one by one to adjust the size and angle what you like. This part is too long, so I made the speed a little bit faster. Okay. Go to layer panel. Lock layer 1. Create new layer and change the name to background. Use rectangle tool. Create a square and change the color to green. Go to layer panel and move the background layer under the layer 1. Use ellipse tool. Create an oval shape. Change the color to light green. Hold option key duplicate oval shape. Adjust the size a bit bigger. Select the small oval shape. Open gradient panel then select orange yellow gradient color. Change all color to green gradient. Like this. Then click Radial Type. Use Gradient Tool to adjust the green gradient color and angle. Change one green gradient slider more deep green. OK. Now select the big oval. Use the eyedropper tool. Then click the small oval collar. Use gradient tool to adjust the green gradient collar and angle. OK. Press Command A select all background objects. Use Shape Builder tool. Hold Option key delete these two areas. And delete this. You should now be able to see the gradient color more clear. 
adjust the gradient collar again. This part is too long, so I made the speed a little bit faster. Okay. Go to layer panel unlock layer 1. Select all the mushrooms and move to here. Go to object then click expand. Unclick fill. Okay. Select all the mushrooms then adjust a bit large. Use direct selection tool. Duplicate a red shade. Adjust the size smaller. Change the color to orange. Move here and make it smaller. Rotate angle and keep to adjust the size smaller. Duplicate a mushroom stem. Adjust the size smaller. Move here. Change the color to deep brown. Send to back. Use direct selection tool. Select this mushroom rotate angle. Select these yellow mushrooms. Duplicate it. Adjust the size, the angle and the position. This part is too long, so I made the speed a little bit faster. Okay. Go to layer panel lock the layer 1. Change the fill color to black. Use ellipse tool. Create a perfect black circle. Open brushes panel. Move the black circle to the brushes panel directly. Click scatter brush. OK. Set the size, spacing and scatter to random. Then set the colorization method to tints. Follow me to set the size, spacing, scatter and rotation percentage like this. Okay. Use paintbrush tool. Follow the oval shape to draw a line. Then appear random style polka dot. Change the stroke color to light green. Use paintbrush tool draw one more line. Adjust the position. Change the color to different green. Duplicate a line. Change the color to other green. OK. 
Move this line a bit upward. Duplicate the oval. Bring this oval to front. Just select the oval shape of the front and all the lines. Press Command 7 Make Clipping Mask. Move this oval back here. OK. Go to the big oval area. Use Paintbrush tool. Change the stroke color to light green. Follow the oval shape to draw a line. Change the color to different green. Duplicate a line. Change the color to other green. Duplicate a line. Change the color to other green. Duplicate the oval. Bring this oval to front. Just select the oval shape of the front and all the lines. Press Command 7 Make Clipping Mask. Move this oval back here. Select the lines. Go to Transparent Panel. Change the Opacity Percentage. Finally I set this part to 70% and the other part to 80% OK Delete this circle Now we go to create 3 flat cube mushrooms Go to layer panel then unlock layer 1 Select the white shape and press command X to cut it Lock layer 1 and background layer Create new layer and change the name to Flat Mushroom. OK. Press Command V paste the white shape back. Adjust to smaller size. Change the stroke to none and the fill color to red. To deep red. Use ellipse tool. Create a different size of the circle or oval. I forgot to change the color to white. Random to create a few circles. You can make it beyond of the red shade. Duplicate the red shade. Select this shape and bring to front. Select all these objects. Press Command 7 Make Clipping Mask. Move this red shape to here. Select all and adjust the size bigger. Use Direct Selection Tool. Select the white circle or oval to adjust the size what you like. OK. Use Rectangle tool. Make a rectangle or square. Select all then go to Align Panel click Horizontal Align Center. Select the rectangle. Use Direct Selection tool. Drag the live corners to the center and make the corners more round. Adjust the size and change the color to brown. Send to back. Select all then go to Align Panel click Horizontal Align Center. Use Ellipse Tool. 
change to white color. Create a white oval. Then one more small oval and change the color to black. Move here. Alright select all these eye shape and group it together. Duplicate and reflect it. Alright select all these eye shape and group it together. Use pen tool. Draw a straight line. Swap fill and stroke collar. Go to stroke panel click round cap and round join. Select all align to center. Select this two shape and duplicate it. Click default fill and stroke collar. Change fill collar to none. Move back here. Select all the face objects and send to back. Select the stroke at the top and bring to front. The face look like a bit bigger. Adjust the size smaller then move the line a bit upward and the eyes move a bit downward. Now we have one cute mushroom. Alright. Copy and paste the red shade. Use pen tool. Change and drag this straight line to be curved. Use direct selection tool. Drag this anchor point upward. Change color to orange. Adjust the size. Create a different size of the circle or oval. Change color to white. Random to create a few circles. Like this. Create it here and there. Duplicate the orange object. Bring this orange shape to front. Select all these objects. Press Command 7 Make Clipping Mask. Move back this orange shape to here. Use Direct Selection Tool. Select the white circle or oval to adjust the size what you like. Duplicate this brown shape and move here. Go to Effect Select Distort and Transform Click Free Distort. Adjust the shape like trapezoid. OK. Go to Object Click Expand Appearance. Adjust the size and select all the second mushroom objects then click Align to Center. Use Ellipse Tool. Create a circle. Change color to white. Duplicate the white circle then change to black color and adjust the size smaller. Move here. Alright select all these eye shape and group it together. Duplicate it. Select all the eyes and press command G. Change the second mushroom as eyes are watching the first one. Like this. Move closely together. Use pen tool. Draw a curved line look like smile. Swap fill and stroke collar. 
Go to stroke panel click round cap and round join. Select all align to center. Select this two shape and duplicate it. Click default fill and stroke collar. Change fill collar to none. Move back here. Select all the face objects and send to back. Select the stroke at the top and bring to front. Go to stroke panel click round cap and round join. Use direct selection tool. Select the white circle or oval to adjust the size what you like. Adjust the face color to different brown. The second cube mushroom have done. Copy and paste the red shade. Move here. Create an oval shade. Change the big shape to yellow color and the oval to deep yellow. OK. Adjust the deep yellow oval position and the size like this. I don't like the yellow shade. Adjust more bigger again. Adjust the deep yellow oval again. Alright. Use Direct Selection Tool. Drag this anchor point upward. Create a different size of the circle or oval. Change color to white. Create a different size of the circle or oval. Create it here and there. Random to create a few circles. OK. Duplicate the yellow shape. Bring this yellow shape to front. Select all these objects. Press Command 7 Make Clipping Mask. Move back the yellow shape to here. Bring the deep yellow oval to front. Copy and paste the second mushroom's brown face. Move here. Adjust the size. Go to Effect Select Distort and Transform Click Free Distort. Adjust the shape like trapezoid. OK. Go to Object Click Expand Appearance. Adjust the face color to different brown. Create a white oval. Then one more small oval and change the color to black.
adjust the size. Move black circle to here. Select all the eyes and press Command G. Duplicate it. Move here. All right. Create a semicircle. Actually, this is not the easy way. Teach you the super easy way later. Follow this method I taught you before first. Use Shape Builder tool. Hold Option key delete this two area. Move a bit upward. Click Default Fill and Stroke Collar. Change Fill Collar to Orange. Select all the eyes and press Command G. Select all and align to center. Select these three shapes. Duplicate it. Click Default Fill and Stroke Collar. Change Fill Collar to None. Move back here. Select the oval of the deep yellow and the stroke. Bring to front. Select all the face objects and bring to front. Select the black stroke of the face. Use pen tool. Add anchor point here. Here. And here. Then delete this anchor point. And delete this one. Alright. Select the third mushroom and group it all. Select the first mushroom and group it all. Select the second mushroom and group it all. Select all the flat mushroom and click vertical align center. Now we've got different style mushroom. Thank you for watching and see you soon for another video.